Welcome back everybody to Make Share Daily, where you can go get a new fresh build each and every day. Today we're gonna to do another five minute Lego challenge. And what are we gonna do? We're gonna spin the wheel and see where it lands and we're gonna build it. Pokemon. Okay, so I've come into Pokemon pretty late. I came in um, really with Pokemon Go. And it was a, the cheapest form of Pokemon that I could get my hands on to, and I really enjoy it. So I know a lot of people are a lot more devoted to the Pokemon series than I am, which is fine. But let's go try to build it out of Legos. Maybe a Pokemon ball? I'm not sure. Let's go give it a try. We got to do Pokemon. How are we going to do Pokemon? Well, what we're going to do is we're going to build a Pokeball, actually a Master Ball. So we're gonna build a master ball because I think it will match up with some of the colors that we have. So let's see what we can do. Just put five minutes on the clock. Oops, reset, start, five minutes on the clock. So master ball has purple and pink on the top. We're gonna use those colors. So it's kind of like this. Sides are pink. And top is middle. And then this is gonna be the M that goes for Master Ball. Okay. Then I'd like it a little bit bigger. Like that, yeah, exactly. So it's gonna be a little bit of a wide Pokeball. Okay, so now we have to have a black middle layer, like a black stripe, which could be tricky depending on what, how we do it. We don't have a lot of black to do this. So I'm gonna beef up the back with brown Okay, so there we go. So now we got our black layer. So now we got to do the white bottom. Again, we don't have a lot of white, but we have these white turns that I think we can use. Oh. I don't know, maybe not. Can I apply this there? No, I cannot. Okay, so these are going to have to be dots. Interesting. So then, go here. Structurally not sound. So now we're going to do, we're going to do this here and here. And on the bottom, do the same. Okay, then we'll use this here. We'll get a little bit deeper right there. Okay, so perfect. So now we have to support these sides somehow. How are we gonna do that? How are we gonna do that? Oh, so okay, so we gotta take this part apart. And then these have to go wider. That's what it is. That's how it's gonna be supported on the sides. So this is gonna come out, and then this is gonna go on top. This is gonna come out. And this is gonna go on top. You guys seen this? Then come in with the white pieces. Oh, we'll put the brown in the middle, that's what we'll do. Brown in the middle. That comes in right there. This little part is not right. Do I want to add more to the bottom? No. Do I want to add, there is one piece here, yep. No. Not structurally 
100% sound. I do have this though. Mm, what if I do that? Now we're cooking. Something like that. Master Ball. I think that looks like it, especially in this angle. I don't think I have another white piece to go on this side. I have this tan. Yeah, that looks like a master ball. That's not too bad. I like that. I'm liking that. I'm not liking my halo going on here, but. Yeah, that fixed the halo. Perfect. Okay, so that looks good. I like the look of that. I, I, I feel pretty. I feel pretty good about that. So let's take a picture. So that's a Pokemon Master Ball, and I think it turned out pretty well. It definitely gives that curved feel, and, and the bottom, that's a little trick. If you just beef up the bottom just a little bit, it looks like it's more curved on the bottom because it has that shadow effect from the lighting. And then the top has the different colors that are needed for a Master Ball. Um, it's wide more than round. Which is a problem. I'm not going to say it isn't. But given the pieces that we have, I think that worked out pretty well. If you think you can do better, leave a comment down below or leave a suggestion to a... Or leave a link to a place where you can post your photo and show it, share it with us. Because I would like to see anybody else's Pokemons, Pokeballs that they built. I've seen a couple online. But if you, a viewer, can build it, let me see. I'd like to see your version of it. Thanks so much for watching. Here at Make Share Daily, we love to make things, especially with Legos. So these five minute challenges are a lot of fun. And if you wanna play along, go ahead and pick up this classic Lego box with 221 pieces. You can pick them up for about $15 at your local Walmart or Target, and then you can play along. Or just use any other Legos that you have at your house. As long as you build that same topic, Find a way to share it with us on all of our social medias. I'll leave it with this. Please go ahead and make something and share something each and every day. You'll be glad that you did it. And we would love to see anything that you make. So find a way to post it to us on our Facebook page, our Instagram page, or our Twitter account. And you will see all the links down below where you can get in touch with us. So thanks everybody for watching. And we'll see you tomorrow to make something new. See you later. Bye-bye.